Hi, I am Katie and this is my final reflection video. Um, just looking at my leadership style in the original video um, and seeing that I was a more democratic leader and I valued other people's perspectives and opinions um, for participating in groups, I do still think I am that type of leader, but the qualities of being a leader have definitely evolved in my eyes throughout the semester. So some things from the units that I thought were really interesting and kind of changed my perspective were the different qualities and attributes of leaders. Um, so just like a few that I personally thought were interesting is leaders foster healing. They self-reflect and they are aware of their own shortcomings and your different perspectives, your opinions, um, and just having that self-awareness. And then also empathizing um, with the individual that is giving you constructive criticism or is giving you their opinion in general. I So just because in the beginning it said I was a democratic leader, I think I definitely like for everyone to be included, but I don't necessarily always empathize with people giving me constructive criticism. Um, I tend to take it kind of harshly. So it's really eye-opening to me that you, we should take other people's opinions into consideration and that just helps us, shapes us into a better leader. Um, it's definitely something to think about and definitely something I think I'm going to try to do more in my day-to-day -day life and when I am put in positions of being a leader or receiving that feedback from other people. Um, another one I thought was super interesting was when it said that leaders foster healing. Um, I think that's super important because I feel like not everyone is a good leader and we have examples in our mind when I said that of someone we thought of that was a little harsh on us or they're really critical and it kind of just hurt us or it made us anxious going into different situations where we do have different leaders. So just keeping in mind that we do all have different perspectives, different experiences with leaders, and fostering healing amongst individuals that we are in a group with or in an organization with. I thought that was really interesting and definitely a good point. Um, so I think this is really going to help me moving forward into my OT practice and how I'm going to be a leader in that perspective, um, just because I think it's going to help me to understand where everyone's coming from and value their opinions on a different level. So.